It's heating up, baby. It's time to crack out the hottest decks of the season. Hi, my little tarot bumblebees. It's Ethany. Welcome back to my channel. And as many of you know, as the seasons turn, I like to change out my tarot collection. So here are the decks that I'm going to be bringing out this season to work with. Now, these decks are in no particular order. It's not a best of. It's just the number of decks I've chosen. And there are 10. So let's jump on in. I'm going to be having a hot summer fling with these decks. Hot girl tarot summer. Hot girl tarot summer. All right. We're starting off with the romantic tarot. Oh, Casanova. Hello. How you do? You know, I always think of some summer loving, probably thanks to the fact that I watched Grease on repeat when I was a kid. I can't help but think about romantic summer, summer loving. So I have chosen the romantic tarot. This is by Low Scarabio. So it is very available. Look at that. It's just like, oh, give it a passionate kiss. Uh, and is a really fun deck for not only romantic readings, but also just for that summer vibe. The second tarot deck is the New Earth Tarot Deck and Handbook by Kate Silver. Now, I have had this deck for a long, hot minute. Um, it's also by Charlene DeLong. I've had this deck since 2000 and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, 18. And I haven't played with it enough. She was calling me. She was beckoning me from the shelf. This is a round tarot deck. It's got a really amazing workbook too. I love the fact that it is really bright and that was one of the reasons why I went to this deck for summer and I thought it would be a really beautiful way to get to know it by bringing it into my summer collection. The third deck is the Gaian Tarot and this is by Joanna Powell Colbert and oh I love this deck so much. I actually still have the, the Llewellyn version of this deck but this is the Schiffer deck. Yes, the Schiffer published deck. I love the guidebook is big and juicy. It just really gives me those summer vibes. Um, summer here is very different to summer in Australia. Summer in Australia is very harsh, whereas summer here is like, it's a different kind of feeling. So all these like lush green trees are out here and it's just like mwah, beautiful perfection. Long, long days. And this really reminds me of that Gaia being at some wonderful strength here. So of course I had to have the Gaia in tarot. Summer in Australia, you go outside and you can feel yourself cooking and I'm not even joking. It is not a here in Canada, you go outside and it's like, oh, I just feel that vitamin D. It's just beautiful. It's like in Australia, like I am baking. <laughs> I smell like I am baking. It's, you feel it. You're cooking. It's not good. My fourth deck pick for the summer is the Star Tarot. This is by Kathy McClelland. And I recently brought the second edition to this and oh, I'm in love. It's so beautiful. This is quickly becoming one of my decks that I want to work with all the time. This is the guidebook um, and it's just, it's just nice chunky colored guidebook and it is just the most stunning deck. I've been reading with it quite a bit and I've decided to keep it out for my summer deck. My fifth deck is a very summer themed deck, I believe. The Mermaid Tarot, even though they have seasonal mermaids all the way through this deck, I can't not think about mermaids when I think about summer. I love the water, I love the ocean. This is an exquisite deck. The artwork by Julie Dillon is oof, oof. And Lisa Robinson has written the guidebook. It is just, it's just so beautiful. I can't not think of gorgeous summer vibes with this, with this, oh, it's just, I just love it so much. I should stop looking at the book. Like, look, look at her. She is beyond. Is that the, I think that's the Empress. Yeah. Look at that Empress. She's everything. This deck is so gorgeous and it makes me want to go swimming in the ocean really badly. The sixth deck is the new Liminal Tarot. This is by Penelope Klein. Now I have the Liminal Tarot in a tin. Um, but this was a deck that you could go and get on print on demand. And so I bought a couple of copies of this deck because I love it so much. Even though it is more thoth based and I'm a bit more of a right away Smith girl, there is just something so exquisite about this deck. It's between the worlds. It's very bright. I just adore it so much. So I brought it back out for my summer tarot selection. And speaking of mermaids, I have it in a beautiful mermaid pouch. It was made for me by Divine Noctavana, and so I love it. <laughs> Mermaid. 
Next is the Golden Girl Tarot. Thank you for being a friend. Do -do -do -do. Travel down the road and back again. I love this TV show pretty much. I just finished watching it for like the third time all the way through. Now that it's available on Prime, I love it so much. I love the Golden Girls. I haven't had a big play with this deck, so I thought it would be a perfect time to bring it out. For so, you know, because they're from Florida, they're in Miami. Like, how can you not think of summer and the Golden Girls? Like, they talk about being out in the eye all the time, and their 80s fashion is just, it just kills me. I love this um, deck. I think it's really well done for a themed deck, and I can't wait to read some sass with these sassy ladies. The eighth deck is a brand new deck in my collection. I actually haven't opened it up and worked with it, but I was going through some of my decks when I was thinking about what I wanted to use this season and this deck called to me. It is the Heroin Tarot. I just took all the plastic off and went through it last night really quickly and it is beautiful. I backed this on Kickstarter and I can't wait to get to know this and work with this deck more this summer. The ninth tarot deck I'm working with this summer is the Super Lunaris Tarot. It is a new deck in my collection or new-ish. It was another deck that I backed on Kickstarter. I'm really, really looking forward to working with this some more. It has come to be one of my favorites and I popped it on my reading space. It is inclusive and modern and vibrant and I think all those things are a beautiful, beautiful match for summer. And my 10th deck is a actual Oracle deck and it is called the How to Be a Wildflower deck. And it's really pretty. It was actually gifted to me by um, Trinice, who is one of my pen pals in a swap we did. And it's by Kate, Katie Daisy. And I have some of her B artwork and I absolutely love it. It's just this really sweet affirmation deck. I love, love, love the artwork because she's got the most beautiful watercolor artwork and it feels really summery to me. It's just going to be a lovely way to finish my readings and do some daily draws for myself when I need a little inspiration. Are you ready for a tarot summer love affair? Are you ready? Oh. Those are my 10 decks that I've decided to pop out in my reading space for summer. Have you decided to change out your decks? Let me know in the comments below. And what are you really feeling drawn to working with this season? If you want to know how to celebrate the summer solstice, make sure you check out this video where I go through some of the ways that you can celebrate Litha, the mid-summer for the modern witch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.